Hey Scorpios and welcome back to my channel Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you Scorpios who are new to the channel, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below along with the notification bell. That way Scorpios you can be notified anytime that I go live or post new content. Okay, so let's get it. Tonight we're going to continue right along in the series what you need to know for the month of May. So what we're going to be asking of the Divine, Source, Holy Spirit, however you identify, is what is your backstory? First and foremost, what's the backstory? Then we're going to deep dive into what are the current energies surrounding your situation, surrounding you, and then what is the advice moving forward, okay? So let's do it. Spirit guys of the highest vibrational frequency, please allow me to see the messages for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, Scorpio, that the messages may or may not resonate with every single Scorpio, so please check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs as they do play a contributing factor. Thank you all so much for watching, Scorpio. Appreciate all the love, likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. All right, much love to you. Also, if you'd like to book a free personal reading, please email me at AquarianEmpressTarot at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram, okay? If you haven't, if you're not... Please follow me on Instagram. What happened in the recent past? We have a higher font here. Some of you could have been married or seeking a committed relationship with a higher font here. Or some of you are very, like, very spiritual, Scorpio, and I feel that with you guys a lot. Um, with the higher font here, this is about morals, religion. You could be very religious, spiritual. Um, <clears throat> very much in tune with the divine. Like you have a very close connection with the Holy, holy One. Holy Spirit, the Divine, Heavenly Father, Almighty Creator, God, however you identify, okay? But you're, you're, you, some of you are very spiritual, very religious. You could attend religious ser services, go to church, pray, um, read the Bible, be a believer, whatever the case may be, okay? Um, we have the Two of Swords here. Some of you are, I feel like you've been praying about a situation that you feel um, or felt was stagnant in the past when it comes to love and relationships, you have been praying about it and you actually sought divine guidance, which is really beautiful. Scorpio, right? We have the Queen of Pentacles here. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. And I feel like a lot of you have been focused on your career, on finances, on your health, um, even just managing things like if you if you have a business Scorpio you've been focused on the success and growth of your business especially during this time of the COVID-19 where a lot of people have been laid off and business has been very slow so a lot of you have been trying to focus on being creative and channeling your energies into you know focusing on the growth and production of keeping your employees working keeping your business running even your household managing finances and things of that nature with the Queen of Pentacles She's nurturing, she's a mother, she takes care of the household. She's very responsible and practical. So I feel like this is a lot of your energy. And if you're a masculine, you're in the queen of pentacle energy, which means you are managing your business well. You're taking care of things, okay? Three of pentacles, a lot of you have been trying to focus on building. Building something stable, starting something new, possibly a new project, building in collaboration. Could be also um, working with coworkers. You know, getting with co-workers and figuring out how you guys are going to get back to business as normal. Since a lot of the states are reopening at this point. We have the judgment card. Yeah, a lot of you have made the decision to move forward in your life and focus on career, success, business. That way you can balance things out financially, um, even with your health, like I said. Some of you also could have been going through a court situation. This is for a few of you Scorpios. And the divine wants you to know that they are here with the judgment card. A decision will be made. A judgment, a verdict will be reached. That will be fair for both parties here with the justice card. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra as well. That energy is there. That's, that is the backstory or the past for you all. Okay. Let's see. What are the current energies surrounding Scorpio? Current energy, please. So I'm going to go in with my Yin Yang Oracle by Stellar. Very beautiful deck. By the way, this is um, from her Etsy shop. For those of you who are curious, who want to know where this deck comes from, that's where it comes from. So 
Spirit guides of the highest vibrational frequency, please allow me to see the messages for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please allow me to see the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the current energies surrounding Scorpio? What do they need to be aware of, Holy Spirit? What do they need to be aware of at this point in time? What does the sign of Scorpio need to be aware of? Um, current energies surrounding them. What current energies surrounding them do they need to be aware of? Please and thank you. Let's see. Scorpio. I love it. Courage and change. This is actually the car that sold me to purchase this deck. I love this. Her, her stance, her posture, everything says, you know what? This is difficult, but I'm ready to go. I'm packing my bags and I'm moving forward. This is you, Scorpio. Beautiful. And change is on the way. Change is going to be positive. Change is always exciting because with change, whether you're relocating, whether you're changing jobs, whatever you're doing, purchasing a new home, a new vehicle, the newness of the change, you know, it, it takes some time adjusting, right? It takes some time adjusting, but there's so much growth with change. So change is very beneficial. Okay. What else do they need to be aware of? Um, also, Twin Flame was on the bottom of the deck. So Spirit also wanted me to give you a message, Scorpios. For some of you that you're going to be going through changes with your Twin Flame. So that's positive. Those of you who have been in separation... And you've been longing to be with that person, there's gonna be some changes. Okay. There's gonna be some changes. Or maybe just you're in separate, you're separated by thought. Like maybe someone's been in an eight of swords energy or they feel stuck and like they can't move forward. But now this person may be coming out of that energy and ready to move forward. Look at that as I say that. Isolating thoughts. This person could be in an eight of swords mentality. So whoever your twin flame is, um, Holy Spirit wants you to know that the current energy is they're coming out of that energy. They're ready to, they're finding the courage to make the change, right? To come out of their, their, their thoughts that's isolating them from the, from the uh, connection with you. Yeah. Um, they're wanting you to know that. This person needs your love and support, nurture and compassion. You see how the one is, is kissing the other one on the forehead. They need your loving energy, Scorpio, your person. So send them prayers, send them love and light their way. Even if you may not be in physical union with your twin flame or your, or your uh, divine counterpart, this person definitely needs your love and your compassion. And there's a lot of chemistry and passion still there between you two. Tell me one more. What's the current energy between Scorpio Ooh, and their person? Current energy. Yeah, clarity. This person is now going to start to see things from a clearer perspective, Scorpio. They're going to realize that you are very loving. You are very compassionate if they didn't see it before. This person, they, I feel like they've dealt with a lack mentality. They've had a lot of doubts and fears. This person has a lot of um, deep-seated insecurities that they have to work out of themselves, Scorpio. So just know that if this connection is has not come together, it's not because of you, Scorpio. It's because of your person's own negative thoughts, their own thoughts of doubt and, and lack and suffering. They're in a very low vibrational energy, which is why I believe the divine is saying to you, send that person prayers, send them love and light. Let them know that you do love them. You are thinking about them. You are concerned about them. That way they can open their eyes. We have a third eye here in clarity and they can see that you are in their corner you are there to um pick them up and nurture and, and love them to more current energy surrounding scorpio situation please holy spirit what are the current energies surrounding scorpio situation yeah yeah this person has been repressing a lot of things and now they're going to be bringing those things of their shadow side to the surface so that they can deal with it and make the changes they need to make right also, this person is experiencing nostalgia. They are remembering all of the loving, the, the acts of love and kindness that you've shown to them. Um, and if they left, if they left you high and dry, they're feeling, feeling bad about it and they want to bring an apology towards you, Scorpio. 
cold and attached. Yeah. Current energy. This person could be very cold and attached right now, but there's going, going to be changed. Change. Autumn is here, especially by the fall season. This person's going to come out of that energy. Late fall, October, probably during Scorpio season, Scorpio Libra season. Yeah, this person is going through a change. They've had to go through some karmic cycles to learn certain lessons that the divine wanted them to learn about themselves and dealing with toxicity and low vibrational energies. And they're completing that cycle. So once that cycle is complete, like I said, this person is going to want to reunite with you with uh, nostalgia here. They're going to want a reunion because they're going to remember all the love and support that you've shown them, Scorpio. So don't worry. Look, and after they completed that cycle, this is beautiful. They're going to want to come and... and um, bring you show you love give you an offer of love yeah give me one more place current energy surrounding scorpio situation yeah yeah because they see you they're going to realize once that third eye has been opened and they receive the clarity they're going to see you as their wish fulfillment you're the person that they really want to spend the rest of their life with scorpio so that's really beautiful this person may have been stuck in a karmic cycle um before and we did have the justice up at the top but they're going to come out of it. They're going to come forward. They're going to apologize. They're going to offer you love. This message is not going to resonate with every single Scorpio, like I said. But please take the messages that resonate and leave the rest, okay? What's the advice? Holy Spirit for the sign of Scorpio moving forward. What is the advice for the sign of Scorpio, please? What's the advice? Chariot. Ooh. So focus on moving forward, Scorpio. Don't focus on the past. Don't hold resentment. Don't hold grudges. Um, like I said, this person has been through a lot. They have a lot of um, uh, insecurities, right? Doubts and fears. So they really need your reassurance. Focus on your happiness. Ten of Cups here. That's what, If that's what you ultimately want, manifest it, okay? Manifest it. Manifest it. If that's what you truly want right what's the advice here for scorpio because this person is going to come forward and express their love page of cups they're going to want you back like i said but you also have to to uh send them messages like i said either in dreams subconsciously letting your person know i do love you i'm, I'm definitely sending you love and light I'm wishing you the best. I'm hoping and praying that you're doing your inner healing and inner work. That way we can come out of this energy, the Three of Swords energy, and start a family possibly with the Four of Wands here and go towards our happiness, right? Let your person know. That's what Spirit wants you to know, Scorpio, that you are important. You are the, the main factor here because they need your love and support. They need you, Scorpio. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You look, here's your happiness here with the sun card. <sighs> Mommy of the song by Rihanna. You need me. Yeah. That's your person, Scorpio. Right? So um, they need your love and support, you know? So express how you feel. Even though this person may be going through a period of grief, this person does want stability with you. They do want a happy home. They do want family with you. That's the advice. That's what Spirit wants you to know. But also they want you to focus on forward movement, taking action to go towards your happiness, manifesting what you want with your person, Scorpio. Okay? So if the reading resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, Scorpios. And until next time, love you guys.